Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with first impression again and I'm doing a first impression on a palette that it feels like I am the last person to do a first impression on this uh, but I'm going to do it and it's the Hasina palette from Blush Tribe I think, I don't know if this was the first palette from Blush Tribe but it's the first palette that like made people interested in Blush Tribe and I have bought this and this has been out of stock for a pretty long time so I bought it and it took maybe like two months or something before I got it because it was out of stock uh, and it looks like this so this is both shimmer and mattes and I really like how this is the layout of this palette layout uh, because I think these this row is you can use these five if you want to and these five go great together and these five so I think it's a smart move and it's pleasing for the eye um, so I really like that uh, it's it's a very nice palette and it's the it's a nice packaging. It's cardboard and everything and um, the back side looks like this and this is the front and the inside. So this is 15 shades and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shimmers and 8 mattes. So I am thinking of doing a blue and a pink look today. So I think I will go with Nasi. Nasia, Sonia, Orb, or Maha. I don't know. And my skin right now, it is so good, except for my little pimple here. But otherwise, my skin is so good right now, and I am so glad. I have been so dry for a while now during this cold weather, but now. It's super good again. And I have tested so many other palettes from Blush Tribe. So I know what I think about the shadows. Because I think it's the same formula in almost all the palettes. Um, but I'm going... Okay. Am I going to do this? Yes. I'm going to take Nasiha. This matte blue one. And put it on my outer corner. And the brush picks up a lot of color and I am a little afraid that this is not going to be as bright as it looks in the pan and I am right this looks a little bit darker and I don't think that this was a good brush I think I changed my brush to a not so pointy blending brush, a little fluffier blending brush because I want this in my whole crease and this was a better brush okay, so something like this and then I'm taking a smaller blending brush and I'm going to take Saina, Saina, Saina I don't like this about this <laughs> brush stripe feels like I butchered the names and I am so sorry for that I'm really trying and this color this was a nice color and it was super pigmented and I really want to keep the pink pink and the blue blue so I don't mix them too much into each other I do it very lightly so I don't mess this up and I always it feels like I look so strange when you can't see my eyebrows when I do in the beginning of my makeups now I go in with this little pointier blending brush and just take a little bit more blue. I 
in here. So I just have a good edge. Okay, I don't really know what I want to do. I have to swatch a little bit. I think I will stick with my first... What I first first wanted to do. Oh my lord. Uh, so I'm going to take Nasiha out here. And then I'm going to take Arva and put it in here. So we're going to see how this Nasiha is on a fluffier brush. It was a little bit more opaque on the fluffier brush and this picks up a lot of color so I'm tapping it off but it still got a really good payoff almost more than in my crease so this shade I think it was when I reviewed or when I tried the tropical motorcycle Tropical Wonders from Certify that the blue shade was better with a little denser brush and I think it's the same with this and it feels like this blue shade is going to be everywhere in my palette I don't know if you can see I don't have out of focus on my camera but it's a lot of blue from here but so the blue is on and now I'm going to take Orva, this pink. I was go f thinking if I'm going to take this green one, but no. And Blush Tribes, blush tribes shimmers, shimmers are usually good without spraying and without any glitter glue maybe this was not the case with this one I'm digging my brush into it and it doesn't come that much okay I need a mirror closer to my eye Okay, so it is there, but it's not, I want it a little bit more intense. It's so light, I don't like it that much. So I think I will take the pink one that I had in my crease. And I will try on the other eye to put that first. So right now I'm just pink and blue. What would happen if I take this Orva on the pink now? Does it even stick? Yes, but I think I want to spray it. And now we are talking. I don't know how much you can see and I just wanted this to be a shimmery inner corner and when I sprayed it and put it over the pink shade it became the way I wanted it to be I'm just going to make a good gradient here if I can Something like that. And I really hope you can see what I'm seeing. I don't know if it turned out how I wanted it to go, but... I think I can live with it. And sometimes I feel like you need to do your, do your under eyes. Because now it just seems a little bit crazy. I have no base, I have no eyebrows, and I have no 
nothing underneath my eyes so I think it looks a little bit weird so I'm going to fix that <laughs> Uh, I fix my base and then I come back for my under eyes and we fix that together and then I'm going to put something in my waterline so I'm just going to take away the fallout I don't have so much fallout it's mostly of the pink in here uh, so take away the fallout and then I will be back and we will fix the rest of the makeup together so the base and eyebrows are on and I am so shiny right now I used the powder that adds glow and uh, then I took so much highlighter so I'm really shiny now but I think I like it so <laughs> for my lower lash line I will take the blue one and in my inner corner I will take the pink one and really smoke it out but I just want the blue one um, around maybe to here and then take the pink shimmer And I tap this off because this was pretty fully. Pretty fully. And I'm going crazy with my lips. Before I start filming, I scrub them and put some oil. And now they are super dry again. So I don't really know what's wrong with my lips. Maybe it's the cold I have had and the cold weather as well. Okay, so something like that. So I don't really know what kind of lipstick I want to go with this look. I have not decided yet. If I want some pink or if I want some super crazy, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm taking this little pencil brush. I'm gonna spray this color and hopefully this will work good. Sometimes I think I maybe should buy like a handhold mirror because now I'm always using palettes so even though I'm doing my first impression on the Alcina palette you see this it feels like I have uh, such a harsh line between the blue and the shimmery pink it feels like it looks a little bit strange Close it does not, but you are a little bit away from me. But I'm going to take a pink uh, creme gel liner from Colourpop in Boots on my waterline. And maybe it will look a little bit better. Better, I hope. Okay, so I hope this looks a little bit better now and I'm going to put on some mascara and then I will be back. So, this is the finished look and for my lips I used Colourpop's Ultra Satin Lip in November and yeah, I think it goes good with the eyes. So, what is my first impression of the Helsina palette? I understand when people bought this and why they start to love this brand because this is a really good palette I'm not sure if it is the first palette they have ever made but it's I think it's the first palette like this I don't know if they made like the was it the Malika palette and they have quads I think it was I don't know if they came before this one but I think this one was their first palette but this one was the first palette that came to YouTube in one way and I really understand why uh, I understand why she's stuck with this format I understand why she's stuck with this shadows because this is a really good palette Um, the blue I wish it was a little bit more brighter but blue is hard color to make this pink was really good I was a little bit afraid that it 
was going to be too light but it is pretty damn good it's opaque and uh, you can really see it and this one needed a little bit help but it went so good on top of the pink and also a little on the blue so I am really happy with that and it's going to be fun to play with this and I already I think I know I think I'm going to do free looks one palette with this one and I already think I know which free looks I want to do so I really like this palette blush tribe is a amazing brand with colors and also with the formula of the shadows so I really like this palette as well. I'm glad that I finally bought it. I have a lot of blush stripes palettes now. I don't know how many. I think I have six of them. <laughs> so this was my first impression of the Hacina palette. It's a good palette. It's going to be so fun to play with this. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you haven't tried Blush Tribe, I think you should really do because it is a really good brand. And the owner of Blush Tribe, Salma, she seems like a wonderful person. So I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!